Hello, I'm Alan Holtham. I'm going to show you the Makita LS1216 sliding compound miter saw. This is just one model in the DXT range, which includes variants for blade diameter and options for a laser guide. DXT stands for deep and exact cutting technology. You'll see why in a minute. This machine has a 305mm diameter blade, giving it a massive cross-cut capacity of 363mm at full depth. Even at 45 degrees, you'll still cut 255mm wide. The standard blade is a 70 tooth, which leaves a super fine finish and the laser cut slots minimise any tendency for the blade to howl so it cuts cleanly and quietly. At the heart of this machine is a double slide ram mechanism running in the substantial cast chassis. Most saws have just two long bars which can lead to inaccuracies as the head is pulled out. The DXT range have a patented two stage system using four shorter bars running in linear ball races to give maximum support. Because the bars are shorter, they're much more rigid and that's what allows such precise and vibration free cutting. Shorter bars also make the saw much more compact so it needs less space behind it and it's easier to move around if you're working on site. The bottom bars lock on this side here and the top ones with this knob here. Precise mitre angles are dead easy to set thanks to the quick locking cam lever. It automatically clicks into the main ident positions such as 90 degrees, 45, 22 and a half etc. But to lock it anywhere else just turn the knob anti-clockwise and it locks instantly. Dead easy. The scale is very clear and easy to read with all the idents being highlighted with a dot. I always think the best test of the locking mechanism on a mitre saw is to try and lock it about half a degree off one of these ident positions. On poorer quality saws it will inevitably slide across as you tighten up. No such problem on the LS1216. It locks securely even within a fraction of an ident. To unlock just push the knob in and turn clockwise. You can cut a full range of mitre angles from 52 degrees left to 60 degrees right. You'll notice that the curve strips are adjustable on this saw so you can set them tight up against the blade to minimise any breakout on the bottom of the cut. This is a nice touch. The bevel angles are just as easy to set. Slacken the back locking lever, press in the release knob and tilt up to 45 degrees in either direction. You can check the angle on the bevel scale here and lock up in any position. For the 22.5 and 33.9 bevel angles, pull this latch forward and it'll automatically lock for you. Cut cornice with ease and make compound cuts in even the heaviest of timbers. For extreme bevel cuts, the fences will need to be moved and on the LS1216 they have double slides with the upper and lower ones sliding independently. You have a full 140mm of depth on the fences to give maximum support for these really big cuts. This model has a vast 165mm deep cut capacity on the back fence. For bevel cuts on smaller workpieces, the lower ones can be moved inwards to give additional support. The soft start motor is a powerful 1650 watts and has electronic speed control. Now this maintains constant speed even under load, so again you get a smoother cut. It's available in 240 and 110 volt options. The blade is driven through a three stage reduction gear unit, which has been designed to achieve maximum torque. This allows the motor to be angled to the blade, and this provides the extra clearance on those extreme bevel cuts. The electronic brake brings the blade to a halt in seconds. For added safety, a lock-off button by the trigger ensures that the saw cannot be started accidentally. A secondary blade guard gives increased protection for those maximum depth cuts. To help you line up for the cut, the L models feature a built-in laser. This is mains-powered 
and the beam can be quickly shifted to either side of the blade with this adjuster. For long workpieces, pull-out extensions provide additional support on either side of the blade. For safer work holding, the saw is supplied with a vertical clamp that can be fitted on either side. It just drops in place and then can be easily adjusted to hold a range of different size workpieces. This should always be used to hold the workpiece. Another really useful feature is the adjustable trenching stop here. Now this can be set to limit the depth of cut when you're cutting grooves or joints. Mighty saws can all be a bit messy in use, but on the DXT models you've got a couple of options to help you effectively minimise the dust that's created. The simplest is to use the dust bag supplied with the machine, which will collect the bulk of the dust. A more efficient solution is to connect the saw directly to a vacuum extractor using the 38mm diameter outlet port. One final and unique feature of the DXT saws is that you can increase the crosscut capacity still further by fitting your own sub-table. This needs to be 38mm thick and must be screwed to the lower fences using the holes provided. With this in place, the capacity on the LS1216 is increased to a massive 416mm ideal for cutting shelf boards and panels. When you've finished the job, the saw can be locked down for easy and safe transport. For site use, the optional stand, reference 194943-7, has some major benefits. For a start, it's adjustable for height, so you can work comfortably no matter how tall you are. Secondly, supports pull out on either side, so you no longer have to struggle with those really long work pieces. This one has a built-in roller, and this one acts as a length stop. Finally, you can leave the saw in position on the stand, fold it up and then wheel it away to the next job. The large wheels ensuring it will travel easily over even the roughest of surfaces. So that's it, the Makita LS1216L sliding compound mitre saw. Pretty impressive isn't it? A saw with a massive capacity and some really unique features. A professional quality tool built to high standards. Until next time, bye-bye for now.